Coming up on Hands on Mac, it is time to look back at the Apple Music Replay of 2022, now with a redesigned experience. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This This is is Twit. This show is brought to you by members like you. Thanks. Welcome back to Hands On Mac. I, Micah Sargent, am so excited to talk to you today about Apple Music Replay. So there are many different music streaming platforms, of course. Apple Music is just one of them. And Spotify, in particular, a music streaming platform, is well known for its uh, look back at the music that you've listened to in a given year. And when you uh, sort of get to the end of the year, you get the ability to go in and say, hey, uh, I'd like to see what I was listening to. Well, Apple Music added that same feature or a similar feature later on uh, that gave users the ability to kind of look at their music over the course of time. But Apple has slowly but surely improved and redesigned and made better the experience. And now it is time to take a look at the Apple Music Replay for 2022. You can access this link from your Mac. You can access this link on your iPhone, your iPad, basically anywhere you'd like to. Uh, But I'm going to show it to you on the iPhone. The link is replay.music.apple.com. I'm a little annoyed that yet again, it is a web experience. I do kind of wish that it was just something that was built into the Apple Music app, but alas, this is how it works. Uh, So let's take a look. So I have gone on my phone to replay.music.apple.com and you'll see a big button that says get started. If I tap on that, it is going to ask, hey, can I log in to your Apple ID? I will tap continue. Uh, It'll face ID scan me to make sure that I'm me. And then uh, it lets you sign in. I'll tap continue. And then it takes me back to the replay.music.apple.com website. And here is what it shows. First, the music that defines your year. I can play the highlight reel. And this is going to actually be a nice um, sound of music uh, that goes along with the music that I've heard. And... I obviously we won't be able to play this uh, out for you, um, but it shows kind of some information about it. So uh, 7,648 minutes of listening, uh, an anthem of the year. We'll see what that one is going to be. I'm kind of curious for myself. Ah, Break My Soul by Beyonce. Not a surprise there. Uh, that song came out before the rest of her album. So I did listen to that a number of times waiting for the new one, an artist who sets the tone. So probably which artist I listened to the most, Hmm, <gasps> no surprise. <laughs> also Beyonce. Okay. I have to tell you, I'm feeling a little basic here. I swear I listened to more music than this. <laughs> um, oh golly. If this is going to be the same album, I'm going to, oh, I know what the album is this going to be. Uh, Cosmo Shell Drake. Yes. Um, I have listened to this album so much, the much, much how, how and I by Cosmo Sheldrake. And let's see what's next genres with range. So which genres I listened to the most alternative pop adult, electro oh, adult, alternative electronic and rock were my top genres. That is also no surprise. Um, postal service, uh, lots of stuff. Here's to the music that moved you in 2022. So now I can see. Uh, the top song, the top artist, the top album, and of course, uh, my genres as well. With 7,648 minutes of listening, I will close out of that, and then let's scroll down. So you listen to 1,155 songs, and a few caught your ears. My top songs include Break My Soul from Beyonce, Cozy from Beyonce, Covet from Beyonce, uh, Come Along by Cosmo Sheldrake, uh, Alien Superstar, And that's it for that. Interesting. Um, There we go. There's some breeze blocks from Alt-J. The Wesley song, which is very good. Um, The Moss, also from Cosmo Sheldrake. You listen to 393 artists, but only a handful made the spotlight. Um, Yes, I'm not surprised that Alt-J is my second artist at 801 minutes to Beyonce's 883. Uh, Rainbow Kitten Surprise ranks in at three with 350 minutes. 
Cosmo Shell Drake at 320 minutes, Regina Spector at 270 minutes. Uh, all great there. And of course, Paramore, Years and Years. Uh, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross because of the Social Network soundtrack, which is fantastic. Death Cab for Cutie. And I'm surprised Geographer ranks so high. Um, my top albums, The Much Much How How and I by Cosmo Sheldrake, The Social Network from Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, uh, Re Renaissance from Beyonce. Uh, I always want to say uh, Renaissance because that is how they do pronounce it. Um, an Awesome Wave by Alt-J, Not Surprised, Years and Years' is Night Call. Honestly, I'm a little surprised that Years and Years' um, Night Call made the list. I didn't think I listened to that one that much, but apparently I did. Um, I, and also, it's worth <laughs> noting that for me, I didn't do a whole lot of music listening this year because much of my time was taken up by audiobooks. I'm a big audiobook listener. So now that I think about it, I'm not surprised that there isn't as much on here as I thought. Uh, let's keep scrolling uh, to see the playlists. Made for Spatial Audio, I listened to 165 minutes of that. Alternative and Spatial Audio, Disclosure Essentials, Good Vibes Only. And the soundtrack of the year for me uh, is, of course, uh, the replay. So I can open this in Apple Music. That's uh, the last thing that you'll want to do once you get through everything. And it just shows you your favorite tracks of the year all through. So you can listen to all of those. Um, this will be a fun listen for sure. It looks like there are quite a few songs included, a uh, hundred songs. So a nice hundred song uh, playlist that you can add to your own Apple Music library by tapping that plus button in the top right corner and uh, then playing that. And what's great is you can use this as a way to kind of build out an even longer playlist uh, with the built-in features for Apple Music. So for example, if I tap play, it will start at the top of the uh, list, but you'll see that in this section, there's a playing next and it says from replay 2022. And there are three buttons here. The first button is shuffle. The second button is repeat. That third button, that infinity symbol, that is a representation of the um, playlist to keep playing after you get through the songs that are on the playlist. So it's going to look at that playlist and use kind of AI, machine learning, all that magic to say, this is probably what this person would like. So this is a chance to potentially discover some new music based on your Apple Music replay. So that is the Apple Music replay for 2022. Again, at replay.music.apple.com, uh, replay.music.apple.com where you can uh, sign in and check it out. Uh, Apple says Replay is localized in 39 languages for all of the 169 countries and regions where Apple Music is available. So uh, if you want to check it out in a you know different language, if you are watching this and are, I guess, uh, bilingual or trilingual or have uh, multiple languages you know, then uh, you'll be able to check it out there as well. I love uh, replay. I think it's great. And you can continue checking replay until December 31st. So uh, that will keep changing until December 31st. If you start to change, you know, what music you're listening to, that will update your Apple Music replay uh, and make a difference there. So uh, keep listening to music, check out your Apple Music replay. And of course, feel free to share your Apple Music playlist with me. If you're going, how do I do that? Well, in the uh, Apple Music app, if you tap on Micah's favorite button, the three dots in the top right corner, and you choose uh, share playlist, then up will pop that share sheet where you can then share a link to the playlist, either over email, uh, by just copying the link and pasting it wherever you want to, or of course, by texting it to someone. So definitely uh, share your Apple Music Replay playlist, and uh, I'll get to see what kind of music you were listening to. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another episode of Hands on Mac. I will be back next week with even more. And uh, again, thank you so much for your support of this show, and of course, the entire network. You all are awesome. Uh, email me, Micah, at twit.tv, and I will catch you next week for another episode of Hands on Mac. Bye. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands on Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. 
Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today.